नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन इन विच वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन कॉम्प्लेक्स एक्सपोनेंशियल फोरियर सीरीज एंड द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फोरियर सीरीज बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग टूवर्ड्स द प्रॉब्लम लेस्ट रिवाइज अबाउट द कॉम्प्लेक्स फोरियर सीरीज रिप्रेजेंटेशन एज वेल एज ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फोरियर सीरीज रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ पीरियोडिक सिग्नल एक्स ऑफ टी विद फंडामेंटल पीरियड टी जीरो so first we have complex exponential fourier series representation for uh, periodic signal x of t which is given as a ck times e is to uh, jk uh, omega 0 t where k will take the values from minus infinity to infinity uh, omega 0 represents the ang fundamental angular frequency and the ck which is nothing but your uh, complex uh, fourier coefficient that can be evaluated uh, by considering 1 by t 0 times integration of x of t uh, into e raised to minus jk omega 0 t over a single time period okay so similarly we have the trigonometric uh, fourier series representation of periodic signal x of t with a fundamental period t0 that is given as uh, a0 by 2 plus uh, summation of uh, ak times uh, cos of k omega 0 t plus bk times sin k omega 0 t Here k will take the values from one to infinity, and uh, omega zero is uh, nothing but again your fundamental angular frequency. Now over here a k and b k are nothing but your Fourier coefficient, trigonometric Fourier coefficient. So that can be evaluated by considering equation number four. Further, we can even uh, describe the relation between uh, your trigonometric fourier coefficient and the complex fourier coefficient that is ck as well as uh, ak and bk as uh, represented in equation number 1.5 and 1.6 so these are the relation that we can utilize further when we are solving the problems based on your uh, complex exponential fourier series uh, representation and the trigonometric fourier series representation so let's consider a problem in which we are having uh we are supposed to represent the given uh, signal that is x of t which is nothing but periodic square wave signal uh in the complex uh, exponential fourier form fourier series form and the trigonometric fourier series form so let's start with the first one so let's try to represent this uh, x of t which is nothing but our periodic uh, square wave signal uh in the form of complex exponential fourier series so for that we will consider the uh, representation of x of t uh in the terms of complex uh, exponential fourier series uh, representation that is uh, given in the equation number 1 where we can evaluate ck by considering the integration uh, over a single time period of x of t into e raised to minus jk omega 0 t multiplied by 1 by t0 so here you can uh, evaluate this integration by considering the values of x of t over a single time period that is from 0 to t0 here we have considered uh, that uh, time period even you can integrate uh, this signal over a time period let's say consider from uh, t0 uh, minus t0 by 2 to t0 uh, by 2 so you can consider either of the time period like uh, <coughs> but any single even you can evaluate uh, this particular uh, Uh, integration for the time period t0 to 2 t0 so uh, either of the uh, you know uh, the time uh, period you can consider to find out your expression for the ck okay uh, so uh, substituting uh, here we are considering a time period from 0 to t0 to simplify our, uh, this integration so here you can observe the Uh, this uh, integration is uh, divided into the two terms you can uh, take the integration of x of t uh, with the uh, by you know uh, dividing this time period 0 to t0 into the uh, 0 to t0 by 2 and the next integration you can take as in t0 by 2 to t0 so uh, if you observe in the time period 0 to t0 by 2 your x of t is taking the value a whereas in the time period t0 by 2 to t0 the value of x of t is 0 and therefore you will see the next uh, term of the integration is becoming 0 so further uh, simplifying this uh, term uh, you can find out what is a ck so ck here uh, after evaluating this integration and substituting its limit 
you get ck is equal to a by minus jk omega 0 t0 times e raised to minus jk omega 0 t0 by 2 minus 1. Over here you can further simplify this term by substituting the value of omega 0 t0 that you can see over here when you have expressed your angular, uh, fundamental angular frequency uh, in terms of fundamental time period of the given signal. So that is nothing but 2 pi if you uh, see this relation. So uh, after substituting the value of uh, omega 0 t0 in the this equation, uh, we further uh, simplified the uh, equation for ck as an a by uh, jk 2 pi into 1 minus e raised to minus uh, jk pi. Now over here you can further simplify uh, this term by substituting the value of e raised to minus j pi as in minus 1. So therefore this uh, term will become a by jk 2 pi times 1 minus minus of 1 raised to k. Okay. Now over here this term, this uh, c, uh, the value of ck we can evaluate by considering k is equal to even as well as k is equal to odd because when you substitute k is equal to even term then obviously as the power of minus 1 is even therefore this value will result in 0 and therefore your ck will become 0 when k is holding the even value that means for k is equal to 2, k is equal to 4 your value for the ck is nothing but 0 because here the power of uh, minus 1 is uh, becoming even and that is resulting uh, the value as in 1 which makes this term 0 okay similarly if I consider the odd term like for k is equal to odd any odd number then obviously this ck will become 1 uh, a by j k by 2 because uh, as the uh, power of your minus 1 is a odd then this uh, 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 this will result uh, as a value of minus 1 so that will uh, be nothing but 1 minus of minus 1 which is equal to 2 so 2 uh, in the numerator and 2 in the denominator will get cancelled out and therefore uh, ck will be equal to a by uh, upon j k pi when your k is holding the odd value here m represents the integer which will not be equal to 0 okay uh, like uh, for the even for the calculation of your even terms you will consider m is, uh, is an integer but it should not be equal to 0 alright uh, so uh, we will further uh, find out the value for the uh, k is equal to 0 so for that you can uh, substitute k is equal to 0 in equation number 2 and you can find out this integration uh, 1 by t0 times <coughs> to get the value for c0 so upon simplifying this we get c0 is equal to a by 2. So, uh, further rewriting this uh, terms of the ck uh, in the terms of m, we get uh, c0 is equal to a by 2 uh, as we have already calculated over here. c2m, here 2m is nothing but for uh, representing it as in uh, even terms. Okay, okay when k is a, is a even term, that is what uh, it represents over here. So, when uh, k is equal to even term, your ck values become 0. And when k is a odd term, then your uh, ck value is nothing but a upon j 2m plus 1 pi, where 2m plus 1 here is nothing but the representation of k as an odd term. Alright, so upon substituting these values of your uh, complex coefficient uh, in equation number 1, you can get the expression for x of t as in in the form of complex exponential Fourier series as you can see in the equation number 4. Similarly, we can move further for uh, representing your x of t uh, in the form of trigonometric Fourier series. So for that, let us consider its representation in the trigonometric Fourier uh, series. So that is we have in the equation number 5. Uh, also, we have the complex coefficient okay complex Fourier coefficient that we have just evaluated right now so with the help of these uh, complex uh, Fourier coefficient we can find out the values for the a k v k as well as a 0 by 2 so by considering their relation which with each other as we have expressed in equation number 6 we can say that a 0 by 2 is nothing but uh, c 0 which is nothing but uh, a 2 by 2 so by considering these three equation uh, equation number uh, 
so we can get uh, the a0 by 2 is equal to uh, a by 2. Okay. Similarly, uh, for the even terms of the k, we can say that uh, uh, a k and b k will be become zeros because uh, your even term of k, uh, when your k is equal to even term, then c k values are becoming zero, and therefore the values of a k and b k, when k is holding the even value, they will also become zero. Okay. Where m is not equal to zero, here that's what we are considering. Similarly, for evaluating the odd value, you can directly consider the equation number 7, which is nothing but the representation of equation number 6, but in the simpler form. So, this is the alternative representation you can have. So, your uh, uh, odd terms of the A will be nothing but 2 times of the real terms of the uh, even terms of C, uh, sorry, odd terms of the C, okay, and that will be equal to 0. Now, why it is 0? Because if you observe the odd term of the C, Okay, then you can see it ex uh, it has only it consists of only the imaginary term. There is no real term present in this uh, uh, C two m plus one. Okay, uh, term of the C. So therefore, as the re no real uh, term is present in this uh, particular equation, you can directly say the odd term of A will be nothing but zero. Whereas for uh, finding out uh, B K terms, okay. You have to consider the imaginary term of the CK. Alright. So, uh, as we know uh, already, ki even jo term hai hamare BK ke, uh, they are equal to 0. Right. So, similarly, uh, now we have to go for the finding out odd terms. So, for finding out odd terms of the BK, we can say like uh, wherever you are having K, you will be uh, considering the alternative uh, uh, representation of the odd terms in the form of M. So, that will be nothing but the uh, minus 2 times imaginary term of the odd uh, CK values. Okay. So, here we have the that uh, particular term which is uh, nothing but your uh, uh, imaginary term that is A by uh, 2M plus 1. So, upon substituting this uh, in this equation, you will get that uh, odd values of VK will be equal to 2A upon 2M plus 1 into pi. Okay, so these are the values we have got. So for uh, a0 by 2, we are having a by 2. For the even numbers of your uh, ak and bk, uh, even terms of your ak and bk, your, uh, that is equal to 0. Even the odd terms of the ak is equal to 0. Alright, so that means there will be no a terms uh, you will see in this particular, uh, for this particular signal. Okay. Uh, whereas your all terms of the V are present, okay, even terms of the V are 0, but the all terms of the V are present and they are equal to 2A upon 2M plus 1, phi. So, upon substituting these value, equation number 8 in equation number uh, 5, we get uh, the representation for X of T in the form of trigonometric Fourier series, okay. So, you can see it is a representing your trigonometric Fourier series. Uh, for the periodic signal x of t. Okay. You can further, uh, you know, expand this particular summation by substituting the values of uh, m starting from 0 to infinity. So, if you substitute that, you will get uh, this expression for x of t, which is nothing but the representation of x of t in the form of trigonometric Fourier series. Okay. So, this is how you can represent your uh, uh, periodic signal. Uh, in the form of complex exponential Fourier series as well as trigonometric Fourier series. So now over here, uh, the uh, these are the sums that you can self try uh, for uh, finding out their uh, complex exponential Fourier series as well as trigonometric Fourier series uh, representation. Okay, so these are two uh, signals I have provided to you. So you can check, you can self try. Uh, to get the expression for x of t in the form of your uh, complex exponential Fourier series and the trigonometric Fourier series. Thank you.